Guys, what's up? Welcome to topic 26. The next thing over here is the outdoor furniture. So I press Ctrl H because we have to move away the grid. And let's say I want to go ahead and select this particular piece of furniture. So I will actually double click and press OK. And I can use the wand tool to now select the white portion and actually do a right click and similar to delete. Now we want to use this particular object but if you guys notice this particular object has been eaten up as well so i'll just press ctrl alt delete not that we need this object but let's say if we did we can just use the wand tool once and you can see how it stopped and we can actually use this object at this level itself but because we did a right click and similar it actually went into this area thinking that this particular area is also similar to white so that's what you have to understand where you should stop and where you can continue till. So solid difference between the wood color as well as the white allows us when we use similar. Now once this is done, I can just press the delete button and press Ctrl D. After doing this, I can use the marquee tool and actually select this whole outdoor furniture over here. I can use the arrow key to actually drag this from here into the site plan and place it over here. Now with another Ctrl T, I can press Shift and scale it down. So this is somewhat how we're going to kind of place our outdoor furniture, Ctrl T and I'll just rotate it like this. So they have like a nice outdoor area where they can just have their breakfast. And I'll just go ahead and close the outdoor furniture and not save it. Then we have two types of trees. So this first tree, Ctrl H, first tree I can just use the W. To select but of course it's not going to delete so what I'm going to do is double click and press OK that will rasterize the layer now I can do a right click and similar so it selects a little white portion inside and press delete Control D we'll sort the other tree out as well and then we'll use both of them so again I'll go on this tree and I'll press Control H now again I'll double click and rasterize it but if you guys see there is a little something different in this tree we can actually see some kind of a watermark. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the wand tool and first select the white portion, control and similar. So we select the little white portions inside and press delete and we can press control D. Now I can use the marquee tool to select the base over here and we can delete that off as well and control D. Now over here we have these watermarks. So once this is done, I can actually go ahead and select both of these and copy this up like this, again like this. Now I'll select this as well and copy this up. 
and similarly I can actually select all these trees and press alt and copy them over here. So this is something that I'm going to do. We can actually go ahead and put the trees over here also. So if I leave it like this, that's completely also okay, depending on what kind of a design of a landscape are you planning to do. But I'm just going to go simply and kind of place this over here. It's okay if you leave it even just the both sides. It's completely up to how you want your entire you know, design to look like. And I can just come quickly here and just place a couple of trees here, maybe even scale one of these down something like that actually just do a little design over here and that's something that we can actually go ahead with so this is how you basically place objects into the site plan now of course we have one last thing remaining to give a little more life to the entire the drawing and that is basically selecting all of these so from layer one can actually select the car and all these objects above till here right click and merge them so all my objects are right now in one particular layer and drag them and put them right on top so they come here so i'm going to quickly go ahead and select all the layers from the car but we can leave the car because the car is below all of this but the trees have to come above so i'll leave the car and i'll select layer one to layer three copy five right click and make into a group so i'll merge the layers you can make them in a group or you can merge the layers if you merge the layers they all will be together don't merge the layers if you're not sure about the entire plan then you can just put it into a group but I've merged it here so you can see how all of them are there together. And I can now du directly double click on this and give it a drop shadow and press OK. So you can actually see that's got shadow. I can actually copy this layer style and paste it on the car so it has the same direction as well. And we'll be having something like this when we finish off our site plan. So I want you guys to save this as a JPEG as well. And I'll be telling you all how to kind of use this during the sheet compilation. So please go ahead and finish this off and I'll see you guys in the next topic. Take care.